You can't, but I can. I can go back to any temporal marker that has been placed in the past. Miraculous Ladybug is a series that knows no limits. With so many heroes and villains, there are endless combinations of the powers they wield. It's especially true when they unify their Miraculouses, combining the strengths of multiple Kwamis. These combinations of powers give Miraculous wielders a significant advantage against their enemies. So far, the series has showcased 19 distinct Kwame unifications. In today's video, we're reviewing all the Kwame unifications and how they shape up among the rest. Oh, very nicely done. You've offended him. Not at all. I'm not offended. Are you proud of yourself? Really, I'm fine. <laughs> Number 19, Nuru and Kalki. Without his Kwame, Nuru, Gabriel Agrest, wouldn't be such a major supervillain. His skill with manipulation is just one of his many talents. The heroes struggle for months to defeat their arch nemesis. During these months, Gabriel operates from his lair. However, in the fifth season, he must venture to search for Ladybug. To do so, Gabriel uses the horse Miraculous to travel around Paris. In the episode Destruction, Gabriel unifies Nuru and Kalki to follow Marinette's wild goose chase. The combination does not enhance Monarch's natural abilities with akumatization, but allows him to travel far distances within the blink of an eye. If Gabriel uses the horse Miraculous while working with many villains, he could have moved from place to place, successfully controlling the battlefield up close rather than at a constant safe distance. The Ice Rink. Nuru, Kalki, unify! Number 18, Tiki and Pollen. The bug-themed Miraculouses pack quite a punch. Although Tiki and Pollen were once the smallest creatures inside the Chinese Miracle Box, their unique abilities are some of the most influential during a fight. Ladybug's lucky charm is always essential when defeating a villain, which keeps Monarch at bay, while the Bee Miraculous can immobilize almost anyone, stopping some of the most challenging opponents. When the two powers combine in the episode Optigami, Marinette successfully saves the day as the hero Lady Bee. Although most of her hero team gets captured and she remains trapped inside an impenetrable building, Lady Bee manages to defeat Style Queen by rendering her paralyzed and finding a creative use for her lucky charm. There's no time to lose. Tiki! Fallen! Unify! Number 17, Mulo and Tiki. The Mouse Miraculous receives the most use during unifications, and it's easy to see why. With the ability to multiply its wielder, the Miraculous gives someone a personal army or a team of allies to depend on. In the episode Kwame Buster, such a trait comes in handy when Marinette must save Tiki and Plague from a grave situation by then becoming the hero, Multi Mouse. Once a Multi Mouse clone successfully infiltrates Kwame Buster's vacuum, she unifies with Tiki, transforming into the hero, Multi Bug. The clone unifies the two Miraculouses solely to use a lucky charm for trapping an Akuma. Molo, unify! Tiki, Molo, unify! Number 16, Mulo and Plague. Also in the episode Kwame Buster, a clone of Multi Mouse sneaks into the vacuum holding the Kwame's hostage to unify with Plague, turning her into the hero, Multi Noir. The clone's quick thinking allows her to use a controlled cataclysm inside the vacuum, destroying their temporary prison and allowing the Kwamis to escape. The unification was a brilliant strategical move as Plague couldn't use his cataclysm without a wielder, lest he risk citywide destruction. In the future, the Mouse Miraculous could help prevent a Kwame from ever needing to use their powers again, especially when their wielder isn't available. Ladybug? I told you that my owner was the best! I've never abandoned you, Tiki! Number 15, Mulo and Trix. Marinette has many spinning plates to consider when working as Multi Mouse, including how to save Tiki without revealing her secret identity. She uses forethought to prevent Adrian from learning the truth, and she does so through the unification of the Mouse and Fox Miraculouses. When Marinette realizes she needs to appear as Ladybug later, she gives a clone of Multi Mouse the Fox Miraculous. The clone uses it to become the hero Multi Fox and creates a mirage when the battle with Kwame Buster finishes. The mirage gives the illusion of Multi Mouse giving her Miraculous back to Ladybug, revealing herself as Marinette. The trick is so good it makes Adrian stop suspecting Ladybug's true identity. Tapo, Trix, unify! Number 14, Tiki and Long. No Miraculous compares to the dragon's number of abilities. With the opportunity to harness the components inside a storm, anyone who wields the Dragon Miraculous would become very powerful. Much like Kagami, Marinette must get creative with the elements to help her defeat the villains and Miracle Queen. The episode features an all-out battle between multiple Miraculouses. Fortunately, Marinette manages to unify Tiki and Long to give her an edge against Miracle Queen, the akumatized version of Chloe who wields the Bee Miraculous. Miracle Queen's mind-controlling swarm was a severe threat to all of Paris. As Dragon Bug, Marinette uses the ability Water Dragon with her yo-yo to create a protective force field between herself, Cat Noir, and the swarm. Tiki! Long! Unify! Number 13, Nuru and Tiki. Of the Kwamis in the Miracle Box, no two symbolize the forces of good and evil like Tiki and Nuru. 
By working beside Ladybug and Monarch respectively, they began to represent the moral ambiguity that Miraculous Ladybug offers. Unfortunately, Tiki becomes forced to join the dark side in the episode Deflagration. The Ladybug Miraculous gets stolen from Scarabella after she transforms while wearing an alliance ring. Although Gabriel does try to use the Cat Miraculous, he fails, thanks to Plague using a Cataclysm. He does manage to unify Nuru and Tiki, turning himself into the villain Monarbug. Had Gabriel used his Miraculouses to create villains or lucky charms, he would have become a nearly unbeatable force. After all, the villains rarely have luck on their side. Instead, the Rebellion manages to defeat Monarbug with a few paint guns, preventing him from exhibiting his true strength. Nuru, Tiki, unify! Watch me make my dreams come true! Number 12, Tiki and Kalki. The power to open portals is versatile, but that doesn't change how Kalki is a one-trick pony. Her ability to help her wielders travel anywhere won't enhance their skills, so when it comes to unification, the situation depends heavily on how the Horse Miraculous gets used. In the episode Senta Bubbler, Marinette unifies Tiki and Kalki to find a creative solution to a big problem. The Senta Monster, a fake version of Nino's akumatized form, the Bubbler, tries to convince Alia to betray Ladybug by taking her loved ones hostage. Trapped inside one of his bubbles, Marinette spends most of the episode incapable of confronting Shadow Moth and the Senta Bubbler. Fortunately, Alia's quick thinking with the Fox Miraculous allows Marinette to unify Tiki and Kalki to become the hero Pegabug. With the help of the two loyal Kwamis, she successfully escapes the bubble with the power of Voyage and rejoins the fight. Tiki, Kalki, unify! Number 11, Plague and Sass. In Miracle Queen's battle between the Miraculous Wielders, Adrian reconnects with an old friend and ally, Sass. Adrian had tried to use the Snake Miraculous once before, but quickly learned that reversing time is a power that requires dedication and patience. While the Miraculous didn't suit him then, he's given his second chance after defeating a brainwashed Viperion. As the hero Snake Noir, he manages to keep himself and Dragon Bug out of danger while fighting hypnotized versions of their friends, Miracle Queen and Hawk Moth alike. Combining the Snake and Cat Miraculouses would be fantastic when caution can't have a place in the fight. After all, cataclysms are dangerous, and if one is ever poorly aimed, a second chance could help minimize the damage. Sass, Plague, Unify! Second chance! Number 10, Bark and Fluff. When the other Miraculouses within the Miracle Box get introduced, it's established early on that Alex will obtain the Rabbit Miraculous and become the hero Bunnix. What doesn't get shown is how hard she has to work to acquire that power. In the episode Evolution, Ladybug and Cat Noir pursue Monarch throughout time, and along the way they recruit Alex with the Dog Miraculous. With the help from the Dog Miraculous, Alex takes back what's rightfully hers without extensive injuries or confrontation. The super ability Fetch allows her to steal the time-traveling Miraculous. When they're unified to turn her into Bunny Dog, she becomes a hero who would always be two steps ahead of villainy. Hi! Once we've retrieved the Miraculous of Time, you won't return it to me. Number 9, Nuru and Fluff. The chase throughout time wouldn't have happened if Gabriel hadn't unified Nuru and Fluff. The choice occurs in Evolution, not long after he gains all the Miraculous inside the Miracle Box. It seems his first plan was to prevent Emily from using the Broken Peacock Miraculous, and to do so, he decides to travel into the past with the recipe to fix a Miraculous. However, doing so creates an alternate timeline which alerts Bunnix. Monarch becomes easily distracted when the heroes start to pursue him throughout time, but he has some devastating powers at his fingertips. He could have distorted the past, present, and future by littering villains throughout different periods. Instead, he becomes caught by the heroes before narrowly escaping. Nuru, flop dual metamorphosis! I think I figured out how Monarch- Number 8, Plague and Fluff. After an entire season of questioning his self-worth, Adrian gets his chance to shine with the help of Plague and Fluff. To prevent Monarch from creating an alternate timeline and evolution, Cat Noir steps up to help Ladybug and Bunnix hunt down their arch nemesis throughout the decades. To do so, he must unify the Rabbit and Cat Miraculouses to become the hero Rabbit Noir. Without his help, Gabriel would succeed in his goal to change history. Not to mention, had Rabbit Noir used a cataclysm in the past, he was just as likely to create an alternate timeline, meaning he had to be extra careful during this particular mission. Flag, flop, unify! Number 7, Nuru, Tricks, and Ways. There is more than one way to unify a Miraculous, and Gabriel takes such a gambit despite the risks more than once. With multiple Miraculouses active at once, he becomes all the more powerful with numerous abilities at his disposal. The first time he unifies multiple Miraculouses in the main timeline occurs in the episode Strike Back. After making a deal with Felix, Gabriel must tell all of Paris about his decisive win against Ladybug and Cat Noir. He unifies Nuru, Tricks, and Ways to send an indestructible message to everyone in the city, and perhaps the world. By combining these three powers, he makes an illusion, not easy to destroy, which makes them all the more real. <laughs> People of Paris, Ladybug had promised to protect you, 
Will she lie to you? Number six, Nuru, Kalki, Waze, and Pollen. In the episode Destruction, Gabriel tricks the Kwamis into giving him Ladybug's location. To prepare for the confrontation, he unifies Nuru, Kalki, Waze, and Pollen. Aside from keeping his usual miraculous close at hand, the other Kwamis he chooses creates a clear defensive plan against his longtime enemy. Kalki allows him to travel quickly if the confrontation goes south. Waze provides a way to protect himself, and Pollen allows him to eradicate any threat from the heroes if he manages to paralyze them. These combinations of powers make the perfect unification when fighting someone who may have the upper hand. Number 5. Nuru, Dusu, and Plague In the alternate timeline shown in the episode Ephemeral, Gabriel learns the secret identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir. To overpower them, he exploits his relationship with Adrian to steal the Cat Miraculous and turn his son into the titular villain. Once he wins against Adrian, he unifies Nuru, Dusu, and Plague, becoming the ultimate villain Shadow Noir. With the element of surprise on his side and some of the strongest Miraculous at his disposal, he's quick to overcome Marinette and takes the Ladybug Miraculous too. While the episode doesn't provide a scene of Gabriel unifying Tiki with the other Kwamis, it does happen, as he makes a wish that nearly changes the fate of their world. I tried to seize Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous to bring her back, to think that the solution was right here under my roof. Number 4. Tiki, Kalki, and Fluff there are many rules when it comes to time travel in Miraculous. Usually, Bunnix does what she can to prevent alternate timelines from occurring. But in Strike Back, Marinette takes matters into her own hands by throwing caution to the wind. The episode and the one before it feature a two-part battle where the heroes struggle to defeat the latest akumatized villain and Senta monster. To prevent Paris from becoming utterly destroyed, Marinette unifies Tiki, Kalki, and Fluff to become the hero Pennybug. She uses the combined abilities of teleportation and time travel to sneak up on the villain Risk, allowing Flair Mittable to get close enough to use the ability Fetch. While her plan to prevent such a complicated opponent from ever gaining power in the first place is brilliant, Marinette's unification to use Fluff with her other powers pose the risk of collapsing her entire timeline. Risk has been defeated, but Ladybug must have made a mistake of some kind, and I can't wait to see what it is. Number 3. Nuru, Fluff, Waze, Trix, Pollen, Long, and Bark After gaining immeasurable power from the stolen Miraculouses, Gabriel doesn't hesitate to enact a crazy plan in the episode Evolution. At first, he unifies Nuru and Fluff to allow him to travel through time, but as he becomes pursued by the heroes, he adds more Kwamis to the unification, pushing himself to the brink. During his adventures through time, Gabriel unifies Nuru, Fluff, Waze, Trix, Pollen, Long, and Bark. The combination of powers nullifies Bunnix, creates distractions, and allows him to evade capture. Since the unification takes place in the first episode of the season, the battles that result set the tone for the confrontations that come after it. Nuru, Fluff, Pollen, Waze, Trix, Long, Unify! Number 2. Nuru and Dusu the most notable unification in the series begins in the episode Truth and continues consistently until Strike Back. Gabriel unifies Nuru and Dusu after he repairs the broken Peacock Miraculous. In doing so, he can create akumatized villains and the Senta monsters who will fight alongside them. Aside from when he unifies numerous Kwamis at once, Gabriel's rise to become Shadow Moth makes him the most influential version of his villain alter ego to date. The range of his abilities grows substantially with this unification, and he nearly overpowers Ladybug and Cat Noir more than once. I feel so much better! What happened? Oh, oh, no! oh wow! Everything was so chaotic in my head! Number 1. Tiki and Plague It's no secret what the most consequential unification is in the series, as every villain has hunted it down since the first episode. When unified, Tiki and Plague have the power to alter the universe when giving their wielder a wish. We see it briefly at the end of Ephemeral, but the full might of the combined powers finally receive their dues in confirmation and recreation. Initially, Marinette unifies Tiki and Plague to become the hero Bug Noir. She uses the full might of unlimited cataclysms and lucky charms against Gabriel but never resorts to using her wish. When Gabriel obtains the two Miraculouses, he encourages them to unify and become the Kwame of reality, a massive celestial being. They are who have the power to alter the universe. So you're saying you actually like it? When I climb around? Yes, and I couldn't do without it today! There's no mistaking the sheer amount of power and influence that the Kwamis have in the world of Miraculous Ladybug. They equally provide the heroes and villains the means to defeat their enemies, striking a delicate balance that unifications could tip at any moment. In future seasons, the unifications may be the last defense when all other hope is lost. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads.